What's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to talk about dr sam lewis possibly appearing in halloween kills as we all know uh, donald pleasant sadly is no longer with us he passed away i believe shortly before the release of halloween 6 the curse of michael myers back in 1995 but many uh fans and filmmakers alike who have continued to work and help build and create halloween sequels after that they have uh, kind of just felt like it's been something's been missing a part of each production and that missing puzzle piece has been of course been donald pleasance he was such a crucial aspect of the franchise he was doc he was michael myers's doctor psychiatrist rather and i feel like to an extent he always kind of blamed himself the fact that he feels like he could have been better for michael and at the end of the day i feel i feel like at first he genuinely wanted to help michael but then once he realized there is no helping this man he just kind of wanted to spend the rest. Of, he, he said it himself. He uh, spent the rest of his time trying to make sure he never got out. But some articles have been circulated online. I just wanted to kind of discuss the possibility of us having Dr. Loomis return in Halloween Kills. I, if I'm not mistaken, for Halloween 2018, David Gordon Green and Danny McBride, they actually had initially wanted to shoot. This is when they were actually thinking about looking at shooting two movies back to back. They were looking at recreating the ending of Halloween 1978 in the opening of Halloween 2018. And then I believe in that instance, we would see Sam Loomis somehow. Now, I don't know how exactly they were going to go about doing it, but I'm assuming it would have been in the aspect of CGI. I don't believe they would have had a body double who resembled Donald Pleasance. I have seen some pictures of uh, circulating online of someone who... If you can, if you know the image I'm thinking of, I, I don't have it available to show. There's been an image circulating of a guy. He looks distinctly like he could play Dr. Sam Loomis in Halloween Kills. He looks like he could play Donald. He looks like he's Donald Pleasance's long lost twin brother. If you know what I'm talking about, uh, then of course, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but him reappearing in Halloween Kills, I think that would be very interesting to see and the, I just want to kind of discuss how he could appear. Now, since we know the character of Dr. Loomis is dead uh, per Halloween H2O, well, actually, Halloween H2O isn't even isn't even canon anymore because we're dealing with Halloween 1978 and then we jump right into Halloween 2018. But I believe also in, in the 2018 film, they established that Dr. Loomis is dead. If I'm mistaken, correct me. And I'm actually not recalling whether or not they mention if dr loomis is dead in this timeline or not but anyway i don't think he's going to appear in real time i think the closest thing we'll get to having a, a dr loomis appearance will be donald pleasance showing up in the flashback that's been jumping around and the images that have been coming out online from the production of halloween kills where we see lonnie liam what looks like lonnie 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 uh, walking around the streets of Haddonfield on Halloween night in 1978. He has that same red jacket on that we know we saw him back in the earlier moments of the 1978 film when he was taunting Tommy Doyle at school. Uh, same jacket. Michael Myers is hiding behind the bushes in these images. So I'm willing to bet we might see Dr. Loomis in a flashback scenario like that. Maybe where they use cgi to kind of uh bring in the uh bring in dr loomis donald pleasant they just cgi him into the movie similar to how they cgi john connor as a kid in the most recent terminator movie terminator dark fate at the opening they cgi a young john connor back into the movie so i believe that's the closest thing we'll get to seeing uh donald pleasant in another halloween film is going to be done by cgi of course unfortunately hopefully they make it look somewhat decent and it's not something that just is completely a standout when you're looking at the movie if let's just hope he doesn't have too many real people around him because then i feel like that's going to make him stick out like a sore thumb then again they could work some magic and the cgi almost comes across as if he's actually there and it's it's not very easy to tell that it's cgi but Adding him back into the scenario, me, honestly, I think it would be interesting, but I would rather keep him for Halloween ends, save him for Halloween ends, because I feel like what you'll then do is you can build anticipation. Actually, don't even announce it, because it's not even something that is an official an official thing it's not confirmed or anything this is just coming from dark universe hd who reported that sources close to them who had seen the test screenings earlier in february for halloween kills 
they noted that two important characters will be returning of course that started instantly building speculation for dr loomis being the one now a lot of the other news outlets are talking about it, so i just want to come and make a quick video talking about it nothing's official dr sam loomis most likely is gonna appear but again nothing's official i would save it for halloween ends i wouldn't do it in halloween kills if it happens in halloween kills i'm expecting it to be in that in a 1978 flashback to halloween night uh but i would save it for halloween ends because i feel like you could then build anticipation build hype for a character that's returning of course everyone's going to know it's most likely going to be dr loomis because we would not have seen him in the halloween 2018 film we would not have seen him in the halloween kills movie but we're going to see him in halloween ends maybe in a situation where he is a maybe he's narrating from beyond the grave somehow maybe he has the final words at the end of halloween ends after uh laurie and michael kill each other which is how i would like to see this incarnation of the franchise in i would like to see michael and laurie both die at the end of halloween ends maybe dr sam loomis before we roll the credits speaking from beyond the grave as if he's been monitoring and watching over the whole ordeal uh, he could have the final words in regards to what he has witnessed occur on this Halloween night in 2018 and then the movie just cuts to black like that Dr. S Dr. Loomis speaking from beyond the grave uh, leaving us hope that Michael Myers probably didn't die or he could still be alive and then the movie just ends I would save that for Halloween ends I wouldn't necessarily blow blow the load <laughs> in halloween kills i feel like you should save someone like dr loomis who's someone fans who are eagerly i know a lot of fans want to see him in another halloween movie for people who grew up with the franchise i myself grew up with the franchise but i of course wasn't born in 1978 so i basically binged most of them growing up the only one that came out when i was a kid was halloween resurrection unfortunately uh halloween h2o was pretty decent that came out when i that actually came out the year i was born and then I had to deal with the Rob Zombie remakes from 2007 and 2009. Then I finally got another decent entry. I feel like, actually, I didn't even get to experience a decent Halloween film until Rob Zombie's Halloween. His 2007 remake was decent. The 2009 sequel is abysmal. I didn't even get to really experience a Halloween movie as part of the actual, the original continuity, a decent one until Halloween 2018. So uh in my mentality that's my first real halloween movie experience <laughs> so i honestly would like to save that a return of donald pleasance for the halloween ends movie don't blow it all in halloween kills i feel like you should spend halloween kills focusing on the characters not saying that donald pleasance would take away from that but i feel like he should be treated like a main event type of deal so save him for a like final appearance for halloween ends and you kind of want to just tease your audience throughout the movie maybe they talk about donald pleasance's character a lot dr loomis maybe they go and visit his grave maybe he was buried in haddonfield uh maybe he we even meet a relative of his because i believe at one point a script for halloween 9 centered on uh dr loomis's son showing up and wanting to take out michael myers or his daughter somebody who was related to him that script of course didn't ever come to fruition we never got a halloween uh we never got a halloween sequel to resurrection and most people will argue that we never got halloween 9 i'm i'm gonna go out and say that halloween 2018 is halloween 9 because just for the simple fact that we call halloween h2o halloween 7 but halloween h2o takes place after halloween 2 and halloween resurrection is considered halloween 8 when really that's halloween 4 like you know what i'm saying like you, you're considering these movies halloween 7 and halloween 8 but they don't take place after halloween 6 they both take place after halloween 2 so that makes them halloween 3 and 4 per that timeline so if you're going to consider those 7 and 8 then halloween 2018 i'm sorry to break it to you halloween 2018 is halloween 9 <laughs> and then halloween kills is halloween 10 and halloween ends is halloween 11 so sorry to burst people's bubbles there i know what you're talking about when you're saying you want to see with a resurrection but if you're calling halloween resurrection halloween 8 then you can easily call halloween 2018 halloween 9 uh but dr sam loomis returning in halloween kills i'd be fine with it but again i'd save it for halloween ends just to make sure that uh you have like a main treated like a main event like a main the main event of the evening because what's going to happen is once these movies are all said and done and they're released we can go back and we can watch this trilogy where we look at the 1978 film and then we watch this trilogy of films that take place all in the same night 
and then how i just think it would be more epic to end it that way with dr loomis showing up in the very end because this is the final chapter his character has been very significant from the beginning so he should be very significant in the end i don't really think we need to see him in the middle we need to see him in the end somehow uh, if he appears in halloween kills of course more than likely he's going to show up in a flashback uh, to 1978 on Halloween night in Haddonfield. Maybe even they go ahead and they do their original plans for Halloween 2018 where they wanted to shoot a scene that kind of recreated the opening of the original movie uh, or the ending of the original film per se. So I could easily see them doing that. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.